Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. This is the Mad Marine here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install AR take down pins easily. Um, this can be problematic for some people, but honestly, if you use this little trick, your life will be so much easier, and uh, I wish I'd learned it sooner than when I did. So, but if you could do me a huge favor, if you could please like, comment, uh, subscribe, and share, that would be a huge help to this channel. And again, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please reach out. I'd be happy to address them. Um, you can comment in the comment section, or you can email me directly in the description below. The email address is listed. Now, uh, a couple things we're going to need before we start. Um, you're, of course, going to need all your parts. Uh, we're going to need some high-speed tools. And so one of the optional high-speed tools here is the uh, Q-tip. Another optional high-speed tool is the... Uh, paper clip extended of course here um an allen key allen wrench uh ideally if you have the 3 16ths i found works pretty well um probably nothing bigger will fit in the uh, holes that you need it to and then you are going to need a pair of wire snips however if you don't have wire snips and you have a needle nose pliers or a gerber or a leatherman or some type of multi-tool those also have snips on them, usually in their plier part, but they're a little bit more difficult to use, so I would recommend, of course, the wire snips would be best. Um, we'll talk about aluminum blue and going oil later, um, but what we need to do first before we start is once we have all our parts, we need to do two things. One is we need to separate our takedown pins. Now this one with the serration cut that isn't a full circle is your front takedown pin. The full circle is the rear takedown pin. And they fit in just like this, rear and front. And I will move this up just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see it nice and well. But this is where they sit, and this is where they will go. All right, so once we've established this, which is the front and which is the rear, we need to talk about our springs. Now each spring is the same. The front can go to the back, back can go to the front. They're absolutely similar. There's no difference between the two. Now what I like to do, and this again, this part is optional, so do if you like, do if you don't. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to cut these uh, springs down two to four coils. Now, I've already cut these down, and the reason why, it reduces the spring tension on the detent, which makes it a lot easier for you to install this, but it also makes it easier for you to take down um, the upper and lower from the takedown pin, so it's not as much pressure. And believe it or not, two coils does make a difference. Um, if you don't want to do this, this is absolutely fine. This is part is optional, but it's going to make you, it's going to make it a little bit easier. Now, what I would recommend is when you cut, the cut side needs to go in first, and the more flush side needs to go on the top. This will make it a little bit easier to install the detent. Now, the first one, we're going to go ahead and find our takedown pin and our detent and our spring. Now we've got it laid out. Now, the other thing is, if you have your pistol grip installed or your buttstock installed, it's going to be a lot more difficult to attempt to do this. So you want to start here. Now you're going to take your Allen key and you're going to go put it through here. Now, one thing I would recommend is using just a little bit of gun oil. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do it. Putting just a drop in the hole, if possible. Putting a little bit in the holes where the takedown pin go. And then using our fantastic high-speed um, Q-tip, just putting a little bit of oil in here, and that would be great. The next thing you can do is put just a little bit of oil. Well, wait, we're going to wait for this. We're going to not oil this up quite yet. And now what we want to do is go ahead and put our Allen wrench in here like this. And it's going to sit in here like this. And what we want it to do is just leave it right here at the first, um, the first hole where the next to here. We're going to take our cut edge from the takedown pin if you've decided to cut it. And that's up to you. And we're going to drop it in. Next, we're going to take our detent. We're just gonna to try to seat it in here. And then what we're gonna do is take our finger, and you can even get a, a pair of, uh, or not a pair, uh, you can get a flathead screwdriver, and that might help you get it in there, it, up to you. It's really not that hard. 
Now, don't feel bad if you end up shooting this across the room once or twice. Um, an oops kit is really helpful here just in case you lose parts and you can't find them again. It happens to the best of us. Um, it's going to happen probably to you, so don't lose heart. And if you lose a pin, you can go and order some online. I can get a whole oops kit for probably 10, 15 bucks. But what you want to do is slide the rear or slide the forward takedown pin over the detent as you're pushing, as you're pulling and pushing the other, t um, the, the Allen wrench over. And there we go. Now it's in. And we want to hear a click. Voila, we're in. And now here's where you want to put just a little bit of oil over here. And what I like to do is put it in the channel where the detent and takedown pin meet. And you'll want to run this through a couple of times, help it to work its way in, so it'll be a little bit easier. And this will be, and wipe off the excess, you don't need too much on here, just a little bit. All right, so that is the front. The rear is super, super easy. Um, it's even easier than the front. It's just simply drop in, go ahead and put it, line it up, Drop it in. You'll want to put a little bit of oil in the takedown pin holes. You're going to want to put this in. Then if you, of course, depending if you have an A2 stock, it'll be a little bit different for everyone. But they're super easy. You'll just compress down on this pin and you're done. Super easy to do. Um, if for some reason you want to uninstall, this is where your high speed paper clip's going to come in handy. There's a little hole right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop these for you guys. But there's a high speed hole. Now you may want to add extended takedown pins later at some point. There's a tiny little hole right here and all you're going to need to do to release this is use your paper clip extended, a little pressure, and you hear that click, it's already good. And now what you want to do is remember these are under spring tension. So when you slide this over, you're releasing the tension on it and this thing could go flying. I'm gonna try to not nail anything. My house, you heard the click, there's a detent. Give it a couple bangs and here's the spring. Takedown pin, super easy. Um, again, if you're having problems with your build, please reach out to me. I'll happily do a video to help you out. Uh, one of the other things you want to do is Aluma Blue. Aluma Blue is pretty cool. If you make any marring on your lower or upper, this will make aluminum black. However, I don't know if you can catch this in the in the screen or not. It says dangerous, poisonous, corrosive. If you get this on your hand, it's going to burn the crap out of your hand. So be sure to use gloves. Be sure to use eye protection. And what I like to do is just take a Q-tip and dip it in here and put it on the spot where it's been marred and uh, you know maybe put a fan on it but honestly in a minute or two it's dry uh, just remember to be careful of the q-tip because it still has the luma blue on it throw it away keep it away from kids uh, or your pets or anything like that because it will burn you it is poisonous corrosive uh, and, and dangerous so please be sure to wear the appropriate uh, personal protective equipment when uh, doing this uh, this is the Mad Marine. I hope you have a great one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave comments below. Catch you later. Bye.